Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth installment of the Concord Athletics Senior Spotlight for the fall 2020 semester. My name is Wes McKinney. Joining us today is Lindsay Cummings of the Women's Cross Country and Track and Field teams. Lindsay, so great to have you with us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, so uh, your journey to Concord, you by way of Cabell Midland High School over there in the Huntington area. And the first thing I wanted to ask you, Lindsay, was not the recruiting process, but what was it like running for Coach Chris Parsons at Cabell Midland? He's well known in, in the West Virginia running circles, one of the all-time greats. He's coached multiple state championships. So what was that like running for him there at Cabell Midland? It was a lot of fun. Um, I feel like he really made me into the runner that I am in, I am today. Uh, he was one of the best coaches I've ever had. It was a lot of fun, and he taught me a lot. Take me, th- take me through the recruiting process. I actually remember you visiting. Um, it was during, I guess, the Christmas break of uh, of 2016 and in, into January of 2017. But what was the recruiting process like? What other schools maybe were involved um, your senior year of high school? Yeah, so at first I didn't even think that I was going to run in college, and so the minute I realized I had the opportunity, I looked at a bunch of schools. I looked at AB, um, West Virginia Tech, uh, Muskegon, which is in Ohio, and when I came to Concord, it was like an instant fit, and I just knew that I wanted to go here. Um, I even had family friends who have been here, um, so I just, it was an instant fit, and I knew all the other schools didn't matter at that point, so it was, it was awesome. Yeah, and and I wanted to also get your thoughts on running for Coach Parsons. His running style maybe fits Coach Cox's training philosophy as well. So does that kind of make the transition um, a little bit easier for you, knowing that you'd run for a really good high school coach and you're going to get equally as good coaching here in college? Yeah, absolutely. You know, in high school, I feel like I neglect. I didn't realize how great of a high school I went to until I came here and realized. I probably got the equivalent of coaching in high school as some people don't ever get in high school. So that was really nice. And plus, both of both of those coaches are really team oriented and, you know, being a family. So that made it really easy to become comfortable with the new team. Did that kind of make the transition easier, you know, with, you know, knowing that you had gotten that that experience in high school, so to speak? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like it made me more prepared for the college running absolutely yeah you get here to concord and, and and the mountain lion women are kind of on the uptick after um a few lean years there but you get here in the fall of 2017 and you're automatically thrown on to just an awesome team the Knowles twins carly thompson taylor ham kaylin kessinger just just all sorts of talent here already did that kind of you know make it easier to fit in because knowing that there was so much success here already yeah, in a way, I was kind of nervous because I knew that I had the high stake of coming from a good high school, so the pressure was on to come and be decent. But I feel like it definitely made it easier knowing that I had a good team to back me up. Yeah, so obviously the team has the success there in, in 2017. You, uh, the women's cross-country team wins two um, individual meet titles. And then in 2018, things really really changed you guys won a conference championship what was the mindset of that 2018 cross-country team on the women's side you know even starting all the way back in August when you guys get together for camp and just kind of take me through the season if you could Lindsay I feel like we were just we knew that we had the opportunity to win conference and that was kind of what pushed us through the training for the whole year and it helped us just become bonded as a team and just know that you know we were working towards a championship and I feel like it helped a lot because that year I feel like our team was very close and we were very bonded and we were knowing what we were going to possibly do. Take me through kind of Coach Cox, Coach Cox's message during that 2018 season because obviously he knew that he had groomed this team um, you know to try to win a conference championship when all those runners that I mentioned before you know had so much success as a freshman and then building up to their senior year so kind of what was his message throughout that season uh, I feel like he just wanted us to work hard you know he wasn't putting pressure on us at all he's never been that type of coach uh, I think he just wanted us to have fun and he you know reminded us that we had that possibility of winning conference and stuff like that helped a lot is just to have fun and just work as hard as we could Now let's transition over to the track here. Um, You've had a lot of success in the 800-meter run throughout your college career. You know, is that kind of your race 
in high school coming in or you know did you kind of have to transition to the 800 just kind of take me through the 800 if you could yeah um I ran the 800 in middle school once I got to high school Parsons was not the coach for track until my senior year um so I was kind of neglected on the track side in high school until my senior year and then once my senior year happened I really started to become comfortable in the 800 and then it just carried over into uh college yeah what made the 800 I guess maybe comfortable for you um I would say you know I was never a long distance runner but I was never a sprinter either Mm -hmm. so it was just like a good medium and I feel like the race just had always been one of my favorites yeah just kind of explain to people that are listening what goes into training for the 800 I mean because you got to have a mix of speed obviously and a mix of also you know just a, a little bit of endurance so what's a you know, a typical training week like for the 800? Um, we do a lot of 200s and 400s, and then we also have some longer days. Like you said, you got to mix a little bit of speed and endurance. But I feel like the main thing of the 800 is very mental. It's probably one of the hardest races. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but I think it is one of the harder races in track. So I feel like mentally, it's, you know, you have to be really strong to run that race. Yeah, and there's also a little bit of discipline, too, in that race, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so last... I guess last semester, um, or right before the pandemic hit, you got the opportunity to go back and, and race in, in your home, not your hometown, but your home county of Cabell County there yeah. on the campus of Marshall during the MEC Indoor Championships. How special was that for you personally? You know, not a lot of people get to go home and race on a championship, on a championship stage like that. So what was that experience like? I loved it. You know, a lot of my family members who haven't seen me run since, you know, high school got to come and watch me run. And even my high school coach was there and a lot of my old high school teammates were there to come watch me run. And I did PR. So it was just like an awesome experience. And I got to go home at the end of the day with my family. And it was just, it was amazing. Was there maybe a little bit more of an an adrenaline rush in that race, knowing that you have all that support there? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I wanted to show off to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. All right, Lindsay, let's go to the classroom now. And I know that you're uh, an athletic training or an exercise physiology physiology major and, and you guys are always on the road with track or, or cross country or, or what have you so what is it like to try to balance time here because I mean you have all these observation hours you have to put in for the AT program but you're always on the road at the same time yeah it's very hard but I've managed to figure it out you know freshman year was really tough um, you know my grade showed it a little bit but <laughs> I managed to adjust to it and you know I'm glad that I came here and it, it's all worked out and hopefully you know I can further my career after Concord. You know, last thing here for you Lindsay you know if you had to go back and you know you're 17 years old again you're a senior in high school what would you try to tell you know people that are looking at, at, at different schools you know what to look for and, and you know just try to enjoy the recruiting process. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's all about how many championships a team has won or, you know, how great the coach is. I think it's about the team atmosphere and the family about it because, you know, if I went to a school that was all about winning, 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 I feel like I would have been miserable. You know, Coach Cox has really been awesome about making the team a family. And without that, I don't think I could have made it through that time. Yeah, okay, I lied. One final, final thing for you. (laughs) You mentioned you had family connections here prior to coming to Concord. You had different family members. But was there something else that really, you know, kind of set Concord apart? You mentioned the family atmosphere, but anything else like that? I just really like the smallness of Concord. You know, all of my friends were going to Marshall, and that's all I heard, you know, out through high school was Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. So it almost made me not want to go there because so many people had – you know, shoved it down my throat. And, you know, Concord was a small country, you know, hometown place. And I just felt right at home because of it. Lindsay, thank you so much for for stopping by today. And uh, hopefully we get to see you and your teammates out on the track or the cross country course very soon. Yeah, hopefully.